As you approach the famous covered bridge to enter the village of Vail, Colorado, you notice on your right an imposing statue. The 12 foot tall figure dressed in a white uniform with skis and a rifle slung over his shoulder. It's a monument to the United States Army's 10th Mountain Division. Beginning in 1943, an elite group of outdoorsmen trained in Colorado in alpine combat, preparing to fight their way through the mountains of Italy. They helped to turn the tide of World War II, then came home and created the modern ski industry. NBC's Kristen Dahlgren has our Sunday Spotlight. On the slopes of Vail, Colorado, amid majestic pines and colorful parkas, soldiers on skis, but a real-life action-adventure with a monumental impact on American history and culture. They're fighting in Afghanistan and they're fighting in faraway places that none of us really know or appreciate. These days, there's a renewed focus in the armed forces to be mountain-ready amid tensions with Russia and North Korea. So instead of desert fatigues, for the 10th Mountain Division, whites are usually the way to go. We use them to go over our normal combat uniforms to blend into different environments. Because I wouldn't blend in too well like this. You Might know, get shot right away. We're going to give you a better chance with putting on some over whites. A battalion of the 10th from the Colorado National Guard invited me to see just what it takes to be a skiing soldier, from the over whites to specialized skis. I've got essentially a carpet here on the bottom. Because where we're going, there are no chairlifts. And skiing isn't just about going down, but getting up the mountain. Seemed like such a good idea at the time. <laughs> <laughs> what are the dangers out here? You know, not only in a mountainous environment do you have to concern yourself with the enemy, um, that are our enemy combatants, but also the environment. The snow is deep. Ready for anything. So what we've got here is a snow cave. So a lot of what you have to learn is survival skills. Yeah, absolutely. The more you can, you know, thrive in this environment, the easier your life's going to be. Okay, so I'm going to step down here. Okay. Don't hold anything at all, and that way, when we do go over this edge, if you were to slip a little bit, you have your hands. To oh, okay. Yourself. Oh my gosh, this is really high. Okay. Conquering the mountain. We made it. We made it. Make no mistake, this is no ski vacation. I think a lot of people would be surprised that we have, you know, these units that are trained specifically for high altitude combat. You've probably heard something like hold the high ground, uh, usually key terrain. Uh, if you can get up at an altitude or in the high ground, you can control all the terrain below you. And that is the genesis of the tent. The 10th Mountain Division was actually formed when there was a lot of failures happening in Europe. World War II, Allied troops were losing the high ground when a group of American citizens lobbied to start their own version of the German and Italian ski troops. When they entered the war, it was a turning point. The Germans absolutely did not expect it, and within, within days, the 10th Mountain Division had claimed these mountaintops that were really the dividing line between Italy and Germany and were able to push the Germans back. They've got a beautiful display here. Sandy Treat and Dick Over were among the originals. Now 96, they'll never forget the seven-foot planks they called skis. We've left a heritage for young people. The results ended up in a sport that uh, everybody could enjoy. When soldiers returned from the war, they couldn't forget the lure of the mountains, starting dozens of ski resorts from Vail to Vermont's Sugarbush, essentially creating the sport we know today. They made it romantic and they made it beautiful and they made skiing something people aspired to do. So as you click into your skis this winter, give a thought to the men and women in white still fighting for our freedom and turning battlefield skills into one of our most popular pastimes. For Sunday Today, Kristen Dalton, Vail, <laughs> Colorado. Nice form there. Sign her up. Kristen, thank you, and thank you to the men and women of the 10th Mountain.